So we've come to this turn here on the Bergstadl Trail in Saalbach and it is super, super tight. It's also quite slippy today. And you can see a lot of people are coming down the trail, coming into it quite quick. They get here and they go, oh no, there's a turn. And you either go straight on here, don't make the turn, or because it's so tight and it's not actually burned up in any way, they're trying to turn around, don't make it and go straight down there. So I'm gonna give you a few of my tips on how you can actually set up for this turn, the line choice that you want to make and how you can get out of it. Let's give it a few shots and see if I can make it. Okay, so there is the first option of how you might be able to make your round. It's definitely not the fastest way. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in quite slow. I'm setting up real high, almost coming to a stop, compressing the rear suspension, hopping it round so at the top of the turn I'm almost straight. Then I'm just pushing in and pedaling out. It certainly doesn't look the cleanest, but you can make it round. Let's try a different method and see if I can come in really slow. I'm going to take a dab, just put my foot right in the center of the turn and really pull the bike around and then clip back in and pedal out. Okay, so super slow in. And around, clip back in, pedal out. So there you go, that's two different options how you can actually tackle this turn. We're now going to walk up there and I'm going to sort of talk you through how I set up for the turn. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're riding turns like this is that they aren't looking far enough ahead. So at this point right here, I've already actually spotted that this is a really tight turn. It's still quite blind. I can't see how tight it is, but I'm starting to slow down. I'm applying the brakes evenly, slowing into it until I can get a better view of it and then I can decide which line I'm going to take. We're nearing the start of the turn right here. I'm pretty slow on the bike. I've been scanning around and can actually see looking down there that the trail goes back in itself pretty tight. So looking at the turn right here, I can see that it's pretty eroded. That it's actually off camber. So you're not gonna get much support actually pushing into it. The other option that you can do, which is what I did the first time that I did it, was go up really high, pull a big enduro endo, and then push it round and get off the brakes and hope that you can dig in and make it out the next section. So let's go and look down here and I'll show you where you want to put your wheels. This is the key point right here. You want to push into the ground because you've got sufficient support that's actually gonna pop you up here. By pushing in and waiting on the bike, you actually want to unweight your body at the same time, which is gonna pop you up onto this section here. Now it's really pretty flat. You want to be going slow and this is when we're gonna pull our enduro endo. You want to use a tiny bit of front brake and I say tiny bit because you don't want to yank on that because that's gonna send you straight over. And when you fall from a height like this down there, that's not good. So you wanna go easy with that. And you just want to flick the back wheel around and keep letting the front wheel roll down here. And that's when you're gonna start pushing the bike into it. There isn't any support right there. So you're gonna to have to push into it easy. You're not gonna push into it really hard and just let it flow out of that turn. You can also put your foot down and that will just give you a little bit of added balance. You can actually see where I'm going to have come from because you want to be straight up there, then pull around here and you don't have much room to actually push the bike into the ground and then turn. And you can see with this off camber, it's really hard. You've got to be well balanced with your braking. You don't want to jab your brakes in any way because if you hit them really hard, they're just gonna move away from you. So you want to keep it really light and controlled. And then once you're out of it, you just wanna keep looking ahead and get down that section of trail. The way that I've been demonstrating is probably the most advanced option and definitely takes a lot of practice. You could also do it by going just up high and doing an endo right about there. But when I've tried it, it's not been as successful. Likewise, you could also come round, just put your foot right on the inside of the turn right there and pull the bike round really aggressively. But for me, if I was racing or if I was riding this trail for fun, I'd always look to set up as high as I can for these tight switchbacks and then endo it round. And that works really well no matter the trail. This is a Berg Saddle Trail in Saalbach and that was how you can ride these tight Alpine switchbacks. Practice makes perfect on things like that. 
you're not gonna nail it every single time. The more you do it, the more confident you're gonna get on it and you can repeat it over and over. Hope that you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumb up, like, comment what more you'd like to see, and I'll see you real soon on the trails.